Listen now, there's two types of people in this world. They are pessimists and optimists. And the pessimists are looking at the future as dark and gloomy and doomy and all hell is gonna break loose. And right now, one of the hot topics is artificial intelligence, AI, and how AI is gonna completely destroy all industries of the world. Uh, it's gonna completely eliminate the job that you have and you're gonna be out of a job and you're not gonna have any uh, income and all hell's gonna break loose. I just wanna clarify one thing in this video. If you look globally speaking right now, we are living in the most abundant time possible. Poverty globally is down. Lifespan is up globally. Uh, prosperity is up globally. Opportunity is up globally. Think about this, we have more power in the palm of our hands and the king of england did a hundred years ago think about that you have more power than the king of england a hundred years ago so if we're talking about the future you you got to take everything with a grain of salt you can't really predict it per se you know a lot of people saying ai is going to take over everything however my thoughts is i'm a firm believer in things going slowly like if you look at the evolution of a candle the candle took a hundred years to go from a candle to a light bulb currently so AI is coming, AI is here. For example, you have IBM's Tensor's open source technology, which is fantastic. And you have different levels of AI. I won't get into today, but there's different degrees of artificial intelligence, certain de deep learning uh, algorithms. Uh, for the most part, when people talk about AI, it's not real true AI, it's more human programmed AI. But that being said, I really do believe that AI is actually gonna uh, levitate and increase uh, the, the standard of living that we have in life and it's not going to take over everything generally speaking It's going to be quite specific. So for specific tasks if you look at certain uh, computation uh, algorithms in the medical space, so uh, One fascinating thing I was reading the other day is radiologists for example, they go to school for four years to read a printed piece of uh, paper or diagrams and charts uh, from all the machines well, I'm pretty sure a machine itself is much smarter at reading its own reading than a human being. So they're talking about how AI can actually increase the medical field uh, standard of care by 10x or even 100x by actually reading the outputs much more uh, efficiently and much more accurately than any human being can because we make a lot of mistakes. We have our own uh, cognitive biases and maybe we're tired that day, who knows, but the deep learning uh, type of AI can definitely outperform us there. And you have all these different case examples where artificial intelligence come into play. I think AI for the medical, for me personally, would be number one. I think it has the most impact over there. You can, I think, AI as well for when it comes to agriculture. So if you look at our farming right now, we don't have an issue with food globally. We can grow food for the whole world 10x over. The problem is logistics. And the problem is a lot of that food goes to waste. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere about like anywhere between 40% to 70% of all food produced globally actually goes to waste. So we can uh, implement certain artificial intelligent technologies into automations and robots and certain farms to actually see the crops yield uh, when it's time to harvest and also determine the logistics of it. So if we know, you know, based on what's happening with the crop growing, uh, if we know that within about say two weeks from now, the crop's gonna be ready to uh, harvest, we, right away the AI then can call in um, the shipments, they can come pick it up. So everything is ready in place on the proper time. And it's, it's wonderful. So I think going forward, AI is definitely gonna improve our lives. It's gonna eliminate a lot of jobs people shouldn't have. Like I guarantee you we're gonna have AI driverless trucks within the next 10 years. Right now in Europe, I'm pretty sure it's Volvo. Volvo finished cross-continental European trip with full automated driving cars. Now if you implement like a, a semi-deep learning tensor IBM uh, AI platform into there, it becomes smarter every single time it drives. Same thing with Uber car drivers, Uber in Pittsburgh, I'm pretty sure it's Pittsburgh, yeah. Uh, Uber in Pittsburgh uh, launched a couple of uh, Uber cars for self-driving. And it's literally a matter of time before everything gets switched over into an AI system for that. And remember, like I said, it's different variations of AIs and different levels of AI. I'm just talking about human programmed AI. And now you're gonna have basically no truck drivers, uh, no delivery drivers of whatsoever. And now the question comes into uh, play is like, what do you do now? Like, where do you go? Um, Elon Musk was talking about this the other day. I know the Canadian government was talking about this not too long ago. And a lot of people are proposing that something called UBI, Universal Basic Income. Uh, I, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see where that goes. I'm a firm believer in the story, don't give a man a fish, teach a man how to fish. 
it's never about the money, it's about the intellectual capital. Uh, so you can give a person like $100,000, but if they don't have the financial smarts to maintain the $100,000, it's gonna disappear. Just look at the statistics of the lottery winners. I think 70% go broke within the first five years. Uh, that being said though, I think there may be some validity in the future where a lot of jobs will disappear and I think our taxes, all of our collective taxes, could be put to better use into actual education as opposed to UBI. I don't wanna just give people money, I wanna empower people. So think about having a very uh, forward-thinking, progressive, uh, high-tech type of educational crash course for people where we can actually create amazing technologies and amazing platforms to really elevate our society. Peter Thiel said it the best, you know, he's like, we want to fly in cars, all we got is Twitter. You know, if you really think about our uh, technological evolutions in the last 50 years, it wasn't, it's not that crazy to tell you the truth, you know. Just now we're seeing, you know, uh, electric industry coming to play, but that's nothing new. It's been around for the last hundred years, but I think the timing is right and the proper leaders came to play, such as Elon Musk and everybody else involved in that, uh, in that space. Uh, but seriously though, imagine now, all, you know, our talk, taxpayer, our taxpayers' dollars going towards proper education, not this bullshit education, and actually empowering us to create uh, our own future. To summarize it, AI is going to be good for us. It's going to benefit us. But like anything, it's a tool. It has a double-edged sword, and we have to be very careful. And uh, and that's why Elon Musk actually created a fund or, or an organization to counter the AI uh, progression, just to keep the tabs on it and to figure out, you know, there has to be... Uh, 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 there has to be some kind of uh, contingency plans if all uh, shit hits the fan, for example, like if you look at Skynet from Terminator. But like I said, uh, I really do believe it has a lot of potential and benefits to really help humankind. And I wouldn't really stress about the future. Like I said, it is, the future is so amazing, it's so bright. You have the whole world in front of you right here in the palm of your hands and opportunities everywhere, everywhere. You know, I couldn't be doing my businesses literally 10 years ago and that's all because of technology and the progression that we have and now with blockchain and cryptocurrency and everything like that a person with a cell phone can have a swiss bank account in their phone not having a swiss bank account in switzerland but literally having an encrypted bank account on their phone and they can transfer uh, any form of cryptocurrency around the world so there you have it the future is bright ai is pretty good and uh don't stress out peace